Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. Today's video is a uh, return to street photography in downtown Bellevue. And as you may know, if you've been around here a while or if you're brand new, here's something I like to do in my street photos. What I like to do is have at least a structure or a framework to get me started around my photos, maybe even a theme you might call it. As I was considering what themes potentially for this set of photos as I was about to head out, I reviewed the past couple of years of videos and, and realized something. Around this time of year, for the past two years, I've done a theme video around abstract and minimal photos. So I thought, let's go for three years in a row. So here's a, a bunch of photos uh, around a theme of abstract and minimal street photography. One of the things I really like about abstract and minimal street photography is that it relies a little bit more on composition and less on the randomness that sometimes can happen around subject and light in street photography. Uh, so because each of us, when we're making photos, we the element of the photo we control the most is the composition this gives us the most control over how we create photos when we're looking for things that rely on composition as abstract and minimal does. Another thing I really like about abstract and minimal street photography is it allows me to leverage my background in graphic design, which is, is two-dimensional, is, is flat. It emphasizes shape and line and contrast and placement of elements. Uh, so it doesn't really have a foreground or background. It just has a ground. So for me, someone who, frankly, I struggle a little bit with depth in a scene and creating layers of all the elements that work well together, abstract and minimal stuff is kind of uh, my uh, happy place for making photos. So while making abstract and minimal street photos is not something really new for me, it's something I really enjoy, um, one thing I did do differently on this session of photos was I changed my exposure mode. I've been doing manual exposure for a long, long time, at least probably eight years. Uh, and when I'm doing street photos, every once in a while, I'm way behind the curve where I need to be for exposure when I change from uh, one lighting situation to another as I'm looking for some photos. So that's kind of bit me in the behind a little bit a couple times, and I've missed photos because my exposure was so far off. So for this group of photos, I switched to aperture priority and I'm using the rear command dial on my X-H2S as exposure compensation. So I have a quick way to still adjust exposure if I want to go brighter or darker, depending on what the camera thinks is the right way to go. So uh, that leads us to a question. I have a question for you. What exposure mode do you prefer to use when you're out doing photos? Do you like aperture priority, shutter priority, manual? Do you go program or uh, some of the other auto modes? So I'd really appreciate if you leave your comment below with your preferred method of exposure mode in making photos and any thoughts and opinions you have about that and why it works so well for you. Thanks very much. So uh, even though these photos were themed around abstract and minimal, you're gonna see that there's some photos that are neither abstract nor minimal, uh, especially when we uh, get to the sequence around the window washers. Uh, you, you know, if you again, if you've been around a little while here, um, I have a kind of fascination with window washers and that's because I don't like heights and so I'm just amazed that these these folks are up two, 300 feet in the air, cleaning windows, just hanging literally by a thread. So one of the challenges uh, that I was looking for when I was making these photos of the window washers was to give a sense of scale of how high up they were. So I started with uh, the 70 to 300, zoomed into 300, which is a relatively easy photo to make and still be kind of impressive, I hope, and interesting. So what I wanted to also do is find some photos that can show a sense of scale of how high up they were. So you'll see some of those uh, later on in the video. Uh, and they kind of cooperated. They all, the three of them lined up in a row, uh, or at least visually it looked like they were lined up. So uh, thanks for posing, gentlemen. I appreciate that. So uh, I'll uh, leave you here with my thoughts for the day and uh, let you watch these photos. Uh, I hope you enjoy them. If you have any thoughts, comments, and suggestions, please let me know. You can also take a look at these photos uh, by the link below uh, on my website where you can look at them at a larger size and uh, enjoy them there, I hope. 
So I look forward to seeing you in the next video. So until we meet again, I hope you stay safe, stay well, and have fun creating photos, and enjoy these photos. Thank you.